Good morning, it's March 3rd, 2023, and it's a very breezy, kind of windy, early spring morning here in Tampa today. If you follow uh, meteorological seasons, which begins in March, these beautiful live oaks are dropping a lot of leaves and a lot of pollen. So if you have allergies, probably not a good time of year, but they don't bother me too much. Here's a laurel oak over here. And these trees are leafing out like crazy. These oaks are kind of a curse and a blessing. And I always worry about them during storm season that they're gonna fall down and cause some damage, but it sure is nice to have the shade. And some of my understory trees like the uh, dogwood and the Jamaican caper and the uh, marlberry really appreciate the uh, shade from these trees. So I've just been sitting out here relaxing, watching all the leaves and pollen fall. Got a little lull in the action right now, but a little while ago it was sky was loaded with leaves. And I'm going to feature a plant today, a king's mantle called Thunbergia erecta, which I took a video of it the other day when I was doing signs of spring, but it has exploded even since then. So let's go take a look at that. It's over on the side of my house. all these pretty purple and cream blooms with yellow centers. This plant probably can get eight feet tall if you let it. I'm probably going to keep it around five, six feet. Just kind of let it grow naturally. I'm not going to shear it real tightly or anything. Just It takes pruning well, but it grows in a natural form uh, very nicely too. Here in Tampa, I'm in zone 9B, so if you're in the warmer part of the country and you want a very colorful spring plant, I highly recommend this one. It does uh, get nipped by the freeze. We had a freeze around Christmas time that really kind of took out some of the tips of it, but it did pretty well overall. King's Mantle. I really don't see that King's Mantle often in the big box stores, but your local nursery might have them. I got mine at Wilcox Nursery over in Indian Rocks, and uh, it's a native plant nursery. Even though this isn't a native plant, it is not invasive, and it's very Florida friendly. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.